Almost an Elena Rabakina-like reaction at the end of that match for Fabian. Just cool, calm, collected. Seventh player ranked outside the top 100 to be the top two player since 2015, Andy. How did he do it? Yeah, I mean, uh, what I said during the highlight, he was playing a lot of defense up the line on Carlos Alcaraz, uh, which I don't know if Carlos didn't have his footing. I've heard uh, the courts in Rome are, uh, maybe they applied a little too much clay, which affects movement. It affects the way the ball bounces. But credit to him for kind of, uh, figuring out patterns that were working and not, you could see Carlos play up the line and then shade to expect a cross court return. And he, he was drilling him line uh, on defense from weird positions. He would be hitting the kind of the fadeaway forehand where you'd think he would be hitting the Jim Courier inside out. And then at the last minute, he would pull it to Carlos's forehand. So I don't know that, that, that Chucky ever got uh, completely comfortable uh, in the match today. And the other thing he did 80% of his serves, and this is a guess, Jim's the, uh, the, the hardcore data guy, but it looked like he was serving wide on everything and trying to create that space to have the option to create space to the open court or to play against the movement of, of, of the old Chuckster, which he did uh, very, very well today. Alcaraz said himself he was surprised with the effort on the other side of the net. Is this a one-off, or have we discovered a game plan to defeat Alcaraz? Well, we've been trying to figure out how do you take it to Carlos, because he's had the two losses this season. And keep in mind, the one loss to, to Nori, he led a set in three love and then got injured and gamely fought on. So really only one true loss in full health, and that was the Yannick Sinner who bullied him and used his backhand down the line a lot to try and nullify the movement. But what Sinner doesn't quite possess just yet is command of the drop shot. And that's something that was a real apparent weapon today for, for this guy. I mean, this guy, Marujan, hit 18 drop shots against Alcaraz. 18 of them, and guess how many he won? 15 of 18. Normally, that's Carlos's secret weapon that's no longer a secret. But maybe the, the answer to combating Carlos is beating him to the punch on the drop shot because, you know, Alcaraz is brilliantly quick but he likes to be in control. And that's what I think the, this Hungarian did so well today, was he eliminated that option. He took the racket away from Alcaraz and control of what was going on for much of this match. And that's what Alcaraz explained quite clearly. He was never comfortable. And that's because he was never in command.